Dude! California! Ah! California is at it again, man. Breaking news, folks. Breaking news. This just happened today. A law, an unconstitutionally insane law, was challenged, and it was upheld today. California property owners, you poor souls. California property owners, if a tenant starts stealing from you and then you legally evict them, you now have to pay them rent because they had to move because they stole from you. Does that sound insane? Yeah, because it's insane. That's why a group of California property owners got together and sued and they lost. Let's talk. Wow. 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 Being a property owner in the state of California is got to be like getting kicked in the nuts by a horse. I mean, dude, what are they doing, <laughs> right? Uh, so for those of you just, just, just hearing of this now, let me try to break down this insanity for you. And I'm going to try to explain it in a way that makes sense. But I assume... You know, if you know a lot of you watching the show are reasonable, rational, normal human beings, Americans, uh, you know, who live in the land of the free, the home of the brave. So it's not going to sound reasonable or rational. You're going to be confused. You're going to have like the, your head's going to be like, wait, what? What? What do you? I don't understand, James. So yeah, I don't understand either. Right, but that's what happens in the communist nation uh, of California. Holy moly, dude! Uh, so anyway, this just happened today, as I speak to you. What I don't even know what day today is. Let's get this on here. So today is Wednesday, June twenty ninth. All right, this just went down. Uh, like I just heard about it, like today, this morning. Right. Uh, I think the ruling came out yesterday, right? Like Tuesday, but like it came to my attention. It's all hitting the news right now, right? Today, yesterday, whatever. All right, here's the deal. Back in 2020, those monsters that are the California uh, politicians, right? I mean, what are those wokies doing out there? Holy moly. Anyway, so the new law comes out in California in, in 2020. Uh, basically, if you evict someone in California because they're stealing from you uh, and you win that eviction, which in and of itself is not always a guarantee that you're going to win, uh, but if you are able to legally evict someone in California, if you're one of those few brave souls uh, who had a tenant steal from you and stop paying you rent and you somehow magically win your eviction in the state of California, which you deserve a round of applause for that happening. Uh, if, if you beat them and you win and they can't steal from you anymore and they have to move, you have to pay one month of their next rent. You have to pay a month of their rent at their new location to offset the costs they need to incur because they had to move because they stopped paying you rent for the house that they were stealing from you. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. So that happened, right? So naturally, when that went down, uh, there was a group of property owners, right, in California. And they were like, hey, bruh, there's this little thing called the Constitution. Uh, you know, you are unconstitutionally, too, unconstitutionally confiscating our property. You can't do that in the United States of America. Uh, but then, but then California was like, hey, bruh, hold my beer. This is California. We don't actually give a shit about the Constitution out here. 
we do whatever the heck we want to do, and it was upheld today. So, yeah, in California, parts of California where you can actually evict people, not all parts of California are you able to actually evict people. There's actually parts of California uh, that still have uh, – Evictions on moratoriums. We've done a whole bunch of videos about the craziness in California, right? Like this one, episode 58, we talked about a new California law that aims to stop you from flipping houses, right? So you got some people who are so sick of dealing with these tenants, they just try to flip their houses, but California's got a law aiming to stop you doing that. They're trying to extra tax you. Uh, if you leave your properties empty, we talked about that in episode 55. Uh, so like, if you have a house and you're trying to sell it so you don't have to rent it because of all the crazy landlord tenant laws that you, uh, rights that you don't have, uh, they're going to get you for that. So if you just want to hold on to the property but you keep it empty, you don't let somebody steal it from you, they're going to get you for that. Uh, parts of California, you're not even allowed to evict people. So this part where you can evict people but you have to pay uh, one month of their rent, um, you know, that's probably not even the worst thing ever. And then, of course, uh, California is thinking about increasing their taxes to trying to double those, right? So California is horrible, dude. It's so bad. It is so bad out there in California, dude. I would rather go on a joyride with Paul Walker than own property in the state of California. It is so horrible. I would rather take a ride in an elevator with Ray Rice then buy property in the state of California it is so terrible also if you're watching this and you're like wow dude those jokes were those were obscene James those were offensive please hold my beer I have a couple more I actually wrote these down I think we should go through some of them right uh, some other things that I would rather do uh, than own property in California, right? I would like Bill Cosme to make me a cocktail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd rather eat gas station sushi. Okay. I'd rather share a needle with Charlie Sheen. Right. Okay. I'd rather go give my boy Deshaun Watson a massage. Right. It ain't going to bother me when that big freaking monster thing just slaps into my leg. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather give my uh, social security number to a Nigerian prince. Hold on, I got a couple more. I got a couple more. I got. I wrote these down. These are good, right? I got a couple more. Uh, I would rather share a bed with Amber Heard than invest in the state of California, right? Right, right, right. All right, one more. One more. <laughs> uh, this one's rough. <laughs> this is my last one, I promise. I'd rather Michael J. Fox perform open-heart surgery on me. Anyway. Uh, back to the topic at hand, though, right? So, uh, California is horrible, right? It's horrible, right? So, these owners, they're, they're sick of having their rights uh, stolen from them, trampled on them. Again, I just went over, like, four videos uh, where various parts of California are, are, are just, just destroying the Constitution are just taking the rights of California property owners like you, and they're turning them into currency uh, in the form of votes, and, and they're buying out, uh, you know, they're selling, selling away, they're selling your rights uh, for votes, right? So it's, it's completely insane in there in California. So uh, some property owners are trying to take a stand, right? Talk about David versus Goliath, am I right, dude? They're trying to take on the big, horrible, woke, leftist agenda in the state of California and they're like yo dude you can't just like you know confiscate our properties and then California was like yeah we can bro because this is California we can do whatever we want right so uh, that's where we're at right now what's going to happen from here outside of California investors just continually having to bend over right um, is those owners are, are looking at what they can possibly do, right? Because this was, uh, they, they lost, they appealed, lost the appeal. They're thinking about trying to take this even higher, maybe possibly going as high as the Supreme Court. Uh, we will continue to monitor this case and, and monitor other uh, horrible cases and new legislation 
in the state of California that does things to real estate investors that we find to be untoward. Untoward? Untoward? Is it untorn? Untoward? I don't know. It's horrible. I'm not sure. I'd rather let Michael Jackson babysit my kids than buy a house in California, folks. It's just so terrible, right? So if I find anything to be terrible, I am here to bring it to you, to discuss it with you so you know what's going on, right? Because real estate investing makes a lot of sense for a lot of people out there, but you have to know the ins and the outs. You have to know what's going on, right? So I like to provide you guys education here on Holton Wise TV because I think a more informed investor is going to be a better and more profitable investor, right? So that's what we do. So if this is the first time you've ever hung out with us here, I thank you for your viewership. Please hit us, uh, hit us up with a subscribe, maybe a little likey likey. And uh, also, we can actually take that one step further. If you are a California person who is just, you know, you're just battered, right? You're just battered. You feel more sad than a girl who went to a bar with Ben Roethlisberger. If that is you and, and you're sick of it, you want it to stop, taking the cold showers, you're just done with it, and you want to invest in real estate, hey, click the notes below, give us a call. We might be able to help you out because we help investors invest in some of the most profitable markets in the United States of America. So Californians, if you're trying to leave California, you're trying to flee communism, we got your back. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.